This is Metrolink, the tram network for Manchester. It is part of the B network, an integrated transport system for Greater Manchester, including bus, tram, cycling, and walking infrastructure. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's get into it. Now, the biggest question why not just build a subway? For example, something like the London Underground could work really well in Manchester. Reasons to build a subway. Not having to slow down for street traffic, achieving faster speeds, possible automation, less staff needed, cuts cost, like what's coming soon on the Glasgow subway, and no crashes between trams and cars and people. Reasons to not build a subway. All the extra infrastructure will cost billions. It takes less time to get in and out of a tram station as they're not underground like subway stations are. Manchester is several million smaller in population compared to London. Metrolink can handle that in a lot of cases. But the idea of a subway isn't unheard of. In the early 70s, there was a project aiming to build a metro between Manchester's two main national rail hubs. This would go between Piccadilly and Victoria Station the former serving of Andy, EMR, TFW, Cross Country, Trans Pennine and Northern, and the latter serving Trans Pennine and Northern. And speaking of TFW, they are awful. I might need to make a whole video on just how bad the overcrowding situation is. This is an artist's impression of the Metro line. The original photos showed 1967 stock from the London Underground Victoria line. However, new trains were planned for the Metro line in the form of the British Rail Class 316. The Manchester Transport System asked for a grant from the government. In August 1973, the Minister for Transport rejected the grant, saying, There is no room for a project as costly as the Pick Vic Metro before 1975 at the earliest. Andy Berman, Greater Manchester's mayor, announced earlier this year his plans to expand the B network, including eight commuter railways, extending the tram to Stockport and Middleton, and making a metro. Details don't seem to be clear yet, but hopefully this will be a big step forward for Manchester. But for now we are stuck with Metrolink, so what is it like? Well, from the outside, I personally think the trams look great with the bright yellow. There's also level boarding, as what should be expected. The trams have to run along cars and people slowing them down a lot. You have to press a button to open the doors, they don't open automatically. In terms of the interior, I personally think it looks quite modern and relatively clean. Though sadly, there is no padding on the seats. For longer journeys, this could be quite annoying. and there is a dot matrix display to show the next stop. There are lots of handles for if the tram gets busy, which is a nice touch. The trams arrive every two minutes on the main section, but much less further out. They are two coaches long, but can be coupled together to make a four-car set. I saw both configurations a lot, but possibly slightly more two-car trams. Here are some fun facts about the trams. Metrolink has 99 stations, hashtag Metrolink to 100, and 64 miles, 103 kilometres of track with 8 lines. In 2023, 42 million journeys were made on the network. The maximum speed of the trams is 50 miles an hour, but I only recorded 30. Thank you for watching until the end. I came all the way from Bristol to make this video, so if you'd like to support the videos, please consider leaving a comment, dropping a like, or maybe subscribing.